it's just an issue because women can't seem to win because your analogy, right? No monster card that's used, and tr- the value goes down. Mm-hmm. Intrinsically, we bring different women knows that you go on about chastity, you know, that's what men value, while men have, you know, want provider. That's what we will have different values in the in opposite genders. Yeah. But theoretically in this world, because obviously your podcast is geared for men, you know, navigate finances, women trying to get laid, of course. Yep. Theoretically, then every they're, if they're successful in their endeavors, every woman is getting fucked. <laughs> so they're they're Body count's going up, <laughs> chastity is going down, the value is going down. So I'm just, it's a little bit contradictory. And like, well, remember, <laughs> like women can't win. And then if we wait too long, then like we can have experiences, we would, uh, high body count lessens our value. And then, you know, how do you know what we don't want if you don't have experiences? And then we can't win because we waited too long and like we hit 30 and some shit. Mm. Um, no, she brought up a fantastic point. Yeah. Like, hey, contradictory information. What's up with this? Blah, blah, blah. Theoretically, everybody would be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, no one's going to be a virgin unless you go out of the States. So, well, let's start with this first because I, I, I already know where this is going. So yeah. I want to get to gauge the room's uh, knowledge on this. What percentage of men do you think are actually having sex with women? So about 10 to 20% of men are having sex with about 90% of the women. On point. Oh, right. She was on point. Right. Damn. 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 Yeah, dating app. Dating app. Okay. So she knows. That. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> yeah, so she knows that women don't even see. Most guys are invisible on dating apps. Yep. Like on Tinder, it was like some like ninety plus percent of the men are, are viewed as below attractive to Ugly. women on Tinder. So, um, so what I'm saying is that we don't make the rules; we just report them. We live in a deregulated, we call it sexual marketplace or dating world, right? And when I say de- deregulated, what it means is that you can basically have sex with anyone you want as long as age of consent is met. Real, real talk. Think about it. Technically, yeah. You right. technically, yeah. So it's deregulated, which means there's no confinements on it. You used to have religion, you used to have the state that come in with like, hey, no, you can't do that. Oh no, you gotta cover up, blah, blah, blah. Right. But it's completely deregulated. It's a free marketplace, right? So since it's a free marketplace, who controls the market? Women. And what happens if you leave women to their own devices to pick their their suitors? Anarchy. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> not not <laughs> anarchy, not anarchy. But really, what what happens is is uh, if you leave women to their own devices to pick, they're gonna pick the best and brightest only. Okay. We start yeah, fucking like, each other. They're gonna go off emotion <laughs> instead of logic. Yeah. So 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 they're gonna pick the best and the brightest, right? There's a problem though. Supply and demand, economics, right? There's not enough of these guys to go around. Okay. So what ends up happening is girls end up casually fucking the small percentage of men at the top, and most of the other guys don't get anything. The women, however, are getting laid. A majority of virgins nowadays are men, not women. Men between 18 to 29 are reporting the highest levels of celibacy ever reported. Why is that? Well, there's a bunch of, you know, theories for why. That's all of the conversation. But the point I'm trying to make is we don't make the rules. We just help guys adapt to the current marketplace. So I get what you're saying. Well, you're telling women to do this, whatever. It don't matter what we say. Women are going to do what the fuck they want to do. Facts. Mm -hmm. All I'm simply telling you is if A happens, then B happens. If you are promiscuous more than likely men aren't going to take you serious for a long-term relationship or marriage. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying women shouldn't go out there and have sex. Hell, we love hoes. We love promiscuous women. We don't, <laughs> love I, hoes. We, I want to make that very fucking clear. We love promiscuous women, but we're not going to come on this podcast and lie to your face and tell you you could have a 100 body count and still get the man of your dreams. Nah, I'd be lying to you to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, don't tell that man that you got 100 body count and say it's two. Sure okay? Or don't tell him at all. Because the truth is, men cannot handle the thought of their woman fucking another guy. So we we keep it honest on both ends. We tell you guys all the unflattering things about men too. I told y'all, men are as only as faithful as their options. I, I'm not. It's, it's not me just like clowning on women. I clown on men too. Is that an emotional response? Though? Because like, if we so then we can handle you guys fucking other women. I mean, I get the whole high value. You're gonna have share your man yeah. uh, with other women. Mm-hmm. Like, cause you claim that like, you know, we're emotional creatures and whatnot. I mean, yes. biological flaw, whatever. Um, isn't that kind of emotional though? Cause you can't handle. Well, well, the difference is, is that, okay, that's a, a great, okay. I get what you're saying. Well, the thing is this women need something called <clears throat> social proof to take men seriously. Men don't. Right. I'll give you an example. Okay. Let's go into a dream world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight fire. I meet you at the club, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo man, you bet. Something wrong? Oh. Oh, bat- oh you want to hit the bathroom? Oh, yeah. no, okay, no, okay, no. just be quick. Just be That's quick. the first. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, 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 pause. Uh, wait, let her first. hear the analogy first? Yep, yep. All right, just hear it, and then, and then, and then you go, and we'll, we'll come to you last. Okay. All right, so we're in, the, we're in a club, right? I come up to you. I'm attractive, right? I'm like, hey, what's up? Blah, blah, blah. You know, y'all want to hang out with you sometime. Yo, I'm having a party in my spot. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be lit. Come through. And you're like, okay, cool. 
So you go and you get three of your homegirls. Y'all get dressed. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be lit. He invited me to mansion party, blah, blah, blah. And you show up, right? And there's a bunch of dudes in there. No girls. What are y'all going to think? Okay. Yeah, what about you? I'm going to be uncomfortable when I'm going to Yes. Yeah. yeah, we out. Someone got weed in that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. All right. Yeah, let's, I, he's going to flip it. Ooh, yeah, now crazy. let's reverse it. <laughs> now you come into the party and there's a bunch of bad bitches in there. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Someone got weed in that motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, the, the same guys with bad bitches? Same guy, but now there's a bunch of bad we bitches. bad bitches too. You ain't going nowhere, right? Know. You ain't going nowhere. No. That's yeah. Crazy. Proves my point. That's crazy. He Women right need a face. cosign <laughs> from other women <laughs> for attraction. <laughs> Y'all need a cosign. I don't like, know if that's necessarily for so, attraction, though. It's I, like I'm feeling comfortable. Like, with other women are there, yeah. like, they're comfortable yeah. with security. That makes me show that, like, we're comfortable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're missing a vital point. Comfort is a vital component of attraction. True, Damn. true. Have to be. True. You, you can't fuck a girl unless she's comfortable with you. So, by me having other women there, what I've inadvertently done is I'm displayed social proof, <laughs> yep, pre selection, okay. okay. and you seeing other women there puts you at comfort. So, I'm able to now. How do I say this? Spit the game or introduce myself to you in a way where I'm now attractive versus you come in and you see a bunch of dudes there. You're like, ah, oh, no, nah, this ain't it. And you leave. Going back to what you're saying, mm -hmm. you said, well, high value men, you got to share them. Well, how do you know that you're not emotional? Whatever. No, it's not that. It's that you women rely heavily on other women's cosign to see a man's value. In other words, if I'm with other women, I am inherently more attractive because mm -hmm. other women have cosigned on me. So <clears throat> I'll take it a step further. What does that say? It shows that women are totally okay with sharing a man with other women. You are literally biologically predisposed to look for men to have social proof. And if need be, share said man with other women. It's only this crazy clown world that we live in where women say, well, you gonna have to. No, I'm the only one. Blah, blah, blah. You could say that, but reality conflicts with social norms. The social norm is you need to be faithful to one woman. The reality is if I have mad bitches, you're going to still be aroused by me.